manage data sharing on Wells Fargo. Hey everyone, welcome back. In this following video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you can manage data sharing on Wells Fargo. So Wells Fargo provides several options for managing data sharing. Now data sharing refers to how your financial information is shared with a third party applications or services. Now it is important to manage data sharing to ensure your sensitive information remains secure. Now there are general guidelines on how you can manage data sharing with Wells Fargo. So before we get started, make sure that your device is connected to an internet service and also make sure to stick with us till the end and follow the instructions as guided. So setting up a sound alert through Wells Fargo online banking platform or mobile app, this alert can notify your specific activities on your account such as a large transaction or low balance which can help you keep track of an unauthorized access. The step number one is account permission. If you have connected third party apps or services such as budgeting tools and all that to your Wells Fargo account, review and manage their permissions regularly. Ensure that you only grant access to data necessary for their functionality. So, and on the step number three, you can also set up two factor authenticator, enabling two factor authenticator for your Wells Fargo account. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring you to enter a verification code that will be sent to a phone number or an email address. After that, what else you can do is you can be cautious when sharing sensitive information through email or text messages. Ensure you're communicating through secure channels, especially when dealing with sensitive account data. Now familiarize yourself with Wells Fargo policies and terms, understanding how your data is used to share. This information can be usually found on their official website by contacting customer service. So last but not the least, regularly review your account activity to identify any suspicious transaction or unauthorized access. If you notice anything unusual, report it to Wells Fargo immediately. These were the steps on how you can manage data sharing of Wells Fargo. That's it for this video. I hope the video was helpful. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.